Hello and welcome. I'm Gargi Rawat and you're watching me on youtube.com slash NDTV. That's the site to go to for all the videos and shows from NDTV. Now, every day we ask you, the viewers, which are the stories that you want to know more about and we give you the pick of our, uh, you know, pick of the top stories of the day. And let's take a look at the stories we uh, offered today in our poll, uh, Delhi polls, controversial election speeches. And many of you want to know more about that. Mahwa Moitra shreds CA in parliament. It was a fiery speech by the Trinamool MP. A coronavirus India steps up efforts and this is after uh, three uh, people have tested positive for the coronavirus in Kerala. Also parent arrested for school play. Now this is a very very shocking story from uh, Bidar in Karnataka where the widowed mother of a student as well as a school teacher have been arrested after they did a play uh, which was against the Citizenship Amendment Act and uh, even the sedition law is being used against them and Indian teens take on Pakistan in the World Cup. That's the semi-final of the under-19. Uh, that will be an India versus Pakistan match. And of course, everyone rooting for the Indian team who are also the defending champions in this cup. Now, uh, let's uh, talk about the hate speeches that have been taking place. Lots of controversial speeches that have been taking place in the course uh, of the Delhi elections. You have uh, UP Chief Minister Yogi Dityanath, who has uh, been... Um, you know, uh, campaigning. He's a star campaigner. He's been attacking Shaheen Bagh. He's claiming that Arvind Kejriwal is giving biryani to Shaheen Bagh protesters. And this is something uh, that uh, Amadmi Party has also, uh, you know, spoken about. And he, or uh, not just that, he also talked about how uh, 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 Arvind Kejriwal is, uh, is, uh, supports those who attacked in Pulwama. Pakistan's ministers are giving statements in favor of Arvind Kejriwal. So a lot of Talk about Shaheen Bagh, Pakistan, etc., etc., on the campaign trail from uh, BJP leaders as well. And uh, let's, uh, if we bring you some of the other uh, statements. Now, this is Parvesh Varma, or the the BJP MP uh, from Delhi, who's already been banned for 96 hours by the Election Commission for his hate speech, where he first he called Arvind Kejriwal a terrorist, and he also said that the people of Shaheen Bagh today they're protesting that tomorrow they'll enter your homes and they'll rape your daughters and sisters. So, because of this sort of statement, he's been banned for 96 hours. However, in Parliament, he was uh, chosen to open the debate on the uh, the the. Uh, on the president's address and uh, to uh, you know open it for uh, the BJP for the government in um, in the parliament, so that really sh gave a sense that the government was uh, doubling down on promoting Parvesh Varma, despite the fact there was a 96-hour ban on him. And he also, Parvesh Varma, now has made another, uh, you know, controversial statement where he said that the ongoing protest against the Citizenship Amendment Act at New Delhi's Shaheen Bagh is uh, anti-national. He said the law won't be rolled back because India is not ruled by Rajiv Firoz Khan. He said the Shaheen Bagh protest against CA is anti-national because they are demanding separation of Assam and Jammu and Kashmir from India. They want Jinnah's Azadi. This is not Rajiv Firoz Khan's government. Now, this is very often... Uh, a, a, an allegation or a statement that is used to mislead people to imply that uh, Feroz Gandhi, the father of Rajiv Gandhi, who was a Parsi, was actually a Muslim. So that's what he's trying to do when he says that Rajiv Feroz Khan's government. So again, uh, sticking with his controversial statements, uh, Parvesh Varma is the son of former Chief Minister of Delhi, uh, Sahib Singh Varma. He was the BJP Chief Minister of Delhi. Now, uh, other statements, uh, yesterday you had uh, uh, Union Minister Prakash Javrekar actually calling, uh, saying the same thing as uh, Parvesh Varma where he talked, where he said that Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister of Delhi is a terrorist and uh, yesterday you had even uh, Prakash Javrekar repeating this at a press conference and in fact saying uh, that, uh, you know, he is some, he, that Kejriwal is making an innocent face uh, when he says, when he talks about this being a terrorist, Kejriwal asking if he's a terrorist. And then he goes on to say that he's an uh, anarchist and uh, that he is a terrorist. And uh, so uh, you now you have a union minister also making a similar statement that was made uh, by uh, Mr. Parvesh Varma as well. So Kejal asking if he's a terrorist, not much difference between an anarchist and terrorists. So union ministers well making these kind of statements were so very heated. The campaign trail in Delhi is as you can imagine with all these statements. Uh, Saturday can't come soon enough when Delhiites will be voting 
uh, and uh, finally this election will come uh, to an end now anurag thakur has also spoken out remember he also controversially a uh, union minister anurag thakur who is the junior minister in the finance ministry uh, at a rally in delhi uh, encouraged the slogan of goli maro or shoot the traitors and now in a statement he has said that there is no place for violence in democracy and the people should use their voting power in a manner that ballot should dominate bullets he says in a democracy there's no place for violence the voting power shall be used in the right manner and the ballot should dominate uh, bullets yesterday in fact uh, during a parliament when he stood up to speak in the lok sabha uh, the opposition was anyway sloganeering and they said uh, wapas jao uh, goli maro minister uh, that go back go back and all that and uh, so it, the opposition not letting him forget the fact that he led a rally in delhi where these uh, hate slogans were being said and uh, shoot the traitors kind of a slogan and the reason it's controversial is because this is the slogan that we hear in pro caa rally so it implies that those who are opposing the citizenship amendment act uh, are those the traitors that they're referring to we don't know but even uh, the fact that you're asking people to shoot anyone because uh, you know we do have a law in this country and you can't just shoot people so to say goli maro uh, is, is, is very extremely controversial yesterday uh, trinamool's mahua moitra uh, spoke in parliament and uh, she uh, gave a speech which has uh, gone viral and she says that the bjp is building a narrative where our dadis become your terrorists and our children become your desh drohi traitors so that is what mahua moitra said yesterday during this speech uh, she said that um, it a, she called it a betrayal of the citizens uh, she hit out at the bjp saying that those who believe the party slogan of sabka saath sabka vikas that development for all uh, you betrayed them by questioning the citizenship of the very citizens who voted you to par so she goes on to uh, talk about um, that uh, she, she said these voters she said cannot identify with the hate filled venomous invective that spewed out by members of the ruling party and uh, she uh, again uh, goes on to attack the government over the citizenship amendment act uh, so uh, this speech has gone uh, viral and uh, uh, but let's now talk about the other story that is going uh, that is becoming uh, that people want to know Uh, more about and uh, that is what's happening in uh, uh, Bidar in Karnataka where there's a lot of outrage over the fact that a parent a widowed mother has been arrested and a school teacher has been arrested over a play that was uh, uh, that 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 was performed in the school against the citizenship amendment act and the the complaint against them is actually sedition again the archaic sedition law which is a law dating uh, to pre independence a law that was used against freedom fighters like mahatma gandhi remember and time and time again it is misused against activists but in this case it's actually being uh, used against uh, 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 over a school play that is absolutely shocking and on the 30th of january uh, these uh, one parent she's a widowed mother of a young girl and uh, a, a teacher from the sh- school were arrested the children from the school in some as young as 9 years old have been uh, questioned by the police 3 uh, to 4 times and even without their parents being present so it's become extremely controversial now even uh, an, a parent association in bengaluru has put out a statement in which they have slammed uh, the police in bidar for the way that they have treated this entire episode and used a, a law like sedition a complaint like sedition against a parent and a teacher of the school so this play was staged in the school on the 21st of january it was performed by students of class of 4 5 and 6 and uh, after this video was shared on social media somebody belonging to the abvp actually filed a complaint and said that this was a sedition that was a seditious play and also that uh, it uh, insulted the prime minister uh, and and that's what they've claimed the school has denied it but even so even if uh, there was something like that the fact that a law like sedition is being used against uh, the teacher and the parent is something that is extremely outrageous that's what all um, that's what many of those uh, legal experts and of course uh, citizen activists are calling this out and saying it's shocking that the police should use something like this uh, get over a school play and uh, and criticizing the citizenship amendment act is not something that you can term as seditious as it is something that is in everyone's right to you know criticize a move of the government so this is a story we're tracking very closely and the bail hearing of the mother may come up either today or tomorrow well that's all the time i have for you today thanks so much for watching goodbye